Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day and welcome back to another Halo 5 prefab showcase. So today we're going to showcase some more banished prefabs that are Halo Wars 2 banished themed as well as a bit of Halo Infinite. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first one we're going to be taking a look at is the Halo Wars 2 Phantom. And this one actually looks really cool. It looks exactly like it. And the thing I like about this one a lot is the fact that there's actually a little lift where you can actually go up and ride into the ship, which is really cool. Well, you don't, technically you don't actually like float up how the actual Phantom works, but it has like a teleporter. And so it kind of like simulates the feel of uh, going up the lift and making it to into the Phantom. Um, as you can see, boom, there you go. It also has like a dual, or rather quadruple main turret gun thing here. It actually spawns with turrets on the side as well, except for some reason um, they haven't respawned because I did end up driving it around a bit. And when you drive it around a bit, the turrets kind of just break off. But yeah, I love the look of this Phantom. It looks so cool. It's like a huge, like heavily armored Phantom and it just looks so awesome. It has like those spiky parts on the back. Bunch of yellow lights, of course, because Banished like their yellow lights for whatever reason. <laughs> like, the thing is with a lot of these prefabs, the fact is, is that most of them are going to be janky just because, you know, the game does not intend for uh, people to, you know, put this kind of stuff onto vehicles and stuff like that. Um, but as you can see, it actually kind of moves a little well. Um, I can't really fly high for some reason. Um, I'm kind of like glued to the ground it seems like but I mean hey I actually kind of like that it's, it's like a low hovering phantom and then you could kind of like pick up people as they go it's kind of like a I mean it's an air vehicle but at the same time it's like as if it was a warthog <laughs> in a sense you could kind of like hop in maybe transport some people and then they'll like hop out um, I mean you could even boost which really helps out kind of go a little further or rather faster can't really see but um you definitely can shoot what about the the bomb oh you can shoot the bomb okay so speaking about phantoms we're also going to check out another phantom except this one seems to be more of the halo infinite phantom that we saw still kind of the same fashion of the uh halo wars 2 phantom the banished phantom just um, this one has a little more gray than red to it, so it still looks really cool. Um, not much else has changed about it, um, other than I guess some of the lights, pink lights. Still has some yellow lights because it can't be a banished vehicle without some yellow lights. <laughs> um, the front looks a little different because the engines on the sides, I think they look a lot better. It also seems to have some tail lights. The other one didn't have tail lights. This one has like some sort of tail lights. Pretty cool. As well as underneath, there's actual like, I guess you could say like thruster kind of things or things that keep the ship, you know, flying. And as you can see, this one also has plasma turrets on each side. Um, the other one did as well, but you know, like I said, those just kind of broke off and they never respawned. I think I just realized something. I don't think it is drivable. Wait a second. I feel like I've what okay so maybe this one's more of like oh interesting could it be glitched or maybe it's like maybe there's like a weird way to enter it so i thought this one was drivable like say you're making a banished themed map i think this is like more of a like a set piece you kind of put it in the background or something um i think that's what they're going for unless maybe i'm doing something wrong and for whatever reason it's not letting me board the banshee or rather the phantom so now let's take a look at the banished spirit so it's another covenant kind of ship except this one's banished themed we've actually never or i think we actually have seen it in halo wars 2 i think they also have a banished version of it i don't know i i, I i'll be honest i don't remember seeing the the banished spirit in halo wars 2 i think it is a thing but i just don't remember how it looks so i can't really judge it i've always been a fan of this one more so than the phantom i just like the fact that it opens up on the side and just drops troops in i think that's really cool so yeah it's of course you know it's rocking that banished flare color it's got the red um, this one doesn't seem to have, it's more of a simplistic build, I would say. It doesn't have any, really, any effects to it, like, and by effects, I mean, like, having those, uh, 
thruster things on the bottom or something or like on the back having like the engines kind of shooting out fire and stuff or whatever doesn't really have any of that so if you actually get on the spirit here it is actually drivable but another cool thing about it is that you know how i was talking about how you can uh get on the sides or not get on the sides but i like the fact that you can actually ride or rather troops drop off through the sides you can actually ride this <laughs> And look at that, you're on the sides. Sure, it doesn't open or anything. You know, you get to actually ride it, which is cool. So you could essentially be transported. It's really cool. Okay, so I've been trying to get this prefab to work, but for some reason it's not cooperating with me. I went ahead and went back to forge mode. I tried to set it to normal instead of phased, but for whatever reason, it wouldn't let me switch it to normal or even fixed. So it just stayed on the phased properties, which is kind of weird. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, so now we can't really actually test if it does fly. You know, it's unfortunate, but um, I don't know. For some reason, it's just not its not working. I don't know if it's like maybe something wrong with the prefab itself or something I'm doing wrong. I, I really don't know. Pretty cool prefabs overall. Props to the creators for creating those. Really awesome. Let me know what you guys think, and that being said, see you guys on the next one. Consider subscribing, liking the video. Peace.